what's her bra size and what's his shoe size. What's the smallest bra size again? <laughs> and I have woken up once again in each other's arms from sharing the same bed and so we are gonna do what we have done every time this happens to us which is film a collab video last time we did this we did it for the booktube boyfriend tag which surprisingly a lot of people clicked on it the video kind of popped off and my See, this is what happens when you're in a heterosexual relationship no my theory is that people saw a boyfriend tag associated with me and they were like no there's no this way can't be she's it. a lesbian what's funny is some people really did think that you were my boyfriend really? and so when they first watched it they commented oh my god i'm so glad it turns out you guys aren't in a relationship because at first i thought it was real they weren't sure how to tell me that like oh cindy your boyfriend is <laughs> you know i don't know what you're talking about because elias is straight i'm definitely straight we are in a sanctimonious heterosexual relationship <laughs> As a follow-up to the booktube boyfriend tag, we are going to test how serious our relationship is to prove it to you all that this is a legitimate heterosexual sanctimonious relationship by playing the newlywed game questions. How very fitting that I'm doing a video with my honey because this video is also sponsored by honey. We've all shopped online and we've all seen that promo code taunt us at the checkout. But fortunately, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Just wait, I was gonna make a bad joke, but I was gonna be canceled for it. <laughs> I was gonna say just like <laughs> Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. In my case, it's always DoorDash or Uber Eats now because of quarantine. And when you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons, wait a few seconds for Honey to search for the best coupons for that site and then watch the prices drop. Recently, I used Honey to save money on food when I was ordering delivery. So it saved me a couple of bucks, which means that my delivery fee was basically gone. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online like Forever 21, Target, Walmart, Redbubble, Alley, express whatever you can think of they probably have it covered if you don't already have honey you could be straight up missing out on free money it's literally free and you can install it in just a few seconds so all you have to do is go to honey.com slash cindy and by getting it you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting my channel so once again that's honey.com slash cindy get that coin thanks honey for sponsoring today's video and now back to my honey i basically got these questions from random heterosexual websites sites that I often frequent for research. Let's combine the first few questions because they're kind of like within the same line. How did you first meet your spouse? What did they wear on your first date? And where did you go on your first date? You don't remember what I wore? Listen, shh, you'll see. We met on Instagram. I messaged her first. Cindy was wearing a zippy sweater. We went to a pho restaurant and then we went to my house where we pho uh <laughs> And I took your book too. Collaborate You're today. revealing too much. Is where was our first date? Not when was that was the first time we fucked. That was essentially the entire date. Uh, it was a memorable right. experience. We also went to a bookstore too. We went to that bookshop in San Jose that had discounted uh, price books. What color was my sweater? It was white and black. White bottom and a top. The top was the top was black. That's what I remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm, not quite. I was wearing a white and brown sweater. Close enough. I remember this because you wore a brown plaid shirt. I noticed in our video that we matched. And so I wrote that you DM'd me on Instagram because I was in San Jose during my Christmas break. And you saw from my story that I was in there and then you messaged me. That was actually back in the day when I used to actually check my DM requests. Now she's too popular and too good for everybody. So. No, it's because I do get a lot of messages now and it's overwhelming. So like I try not to and if I hadn't seen it or if it was too if late she hadn't to seen see it, it her loss It would have been my loss <laughs> really we went to a pho restaurant But we were supposed to go to a ramen restaurant, yeah, but it closed down closed. remember wow You remember a lot than I expected. I mean, it's hard to forget a day that changed your life I remember driving you and then on the freeway and then my mom <laughs> passed by me That was before you came out to your parents too So maybe you saw your mom and you're like fuck I can't have her thinking I'm dating her describe what you you first thought of them in one word. I feel like it'd be more fun if it was just our first impressions based on each other's videos. Okay. I thought she was 
Hello Quirky, aka not like other girls. I remember watching one of your videos where it was, um, you did the, the white egg Oh, video. was it the one where I was wearing a wig mm -hmm. and I was doing like the booktube newbie tag yeah. as like a quirky, not like other girls? When I met you and, I, and then got to know you better, I was like, okay, this chick's a furry, but I'm into it. I thought you were gonna say a degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten this as a criticism before where it's like, oh, she tries to be like not like other girls or not like other booktubers, but I'm not trying to be anyone. I think I'm just a degenerate. <laughs> Just no. what happens to be it. This was an impression just based on a couple of videos I saw you like way before I met you in real life. Shy and quiet. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I know, that's why it's so funny. I had seen a couple of your videos and you talk like kind of quietly and like very calmly. So you just seemed like shy and quiet to me. And it was funny because then when like- That's you in bed. You're not supposed to share that! Am I shy and quiet now? No! <laughs> You're like the opposite. Freaking the sheets. Next one it says, when did you know that they were the one? But I think for this one, we can interpret it as like, when did we know that like, we could be, you know, pretty chill friends? If you put a perverted answer, I swear to God. With you, everything's perverted. Yeah, that's true. After I saw our first collab video, because when I was first filming our collab, I didn't really know what to expect. And oh. it was my first collab in a really long time. Uh -huh. But when I saw it, I saw your editing and I saw the whole video, I was like, damn. We're soulmates. When I got dinner at your house. <laughs> that was before I even finished my collab I mean, video. Be, no, and also this is important because I took your book to collab virginity. No, you know what? You're writing this because once you saw the collab video, you're like, oh my god, I can get clout <laughs> from her. I can get the clout. This will be a very beneficial relationship. The next question I thought was funny. It says, who is a better kisser? Wait, hold on, hold on. I have to look at your face. <laughs> Alright, for this one. Definitely me. Why you? You've never even kissed anyone. <laughs> this bitch, you asked me before. In general, who is the better kisser? Not between us, but like anyone. Between us two? No, no, anyone. Like who's the better kisser in general? Oh, I misunderstood the question. Yeah, I take my answer back. <gasps> Cindy. But why? <laughs> Explain why. I don't know. I, I feel like you have more experience and you've like, you've slept with boys before. I've kissed girls and boys and for your see, information. There you go. She has done both. So I picked you because I'm not evaluating it based on experience. I'm evaluating based on potential. That's why I had to look at your face because I was like, let me see the lips. <laughs> I feel like it's been so long for me that I don't think I would be good. Eh, I don't know. It's been, it's been many six years for me. Many, many moons. Who is the tidiest? This is hands down an easy question. <gasps> You've never seen what my place looks like. Um, from your videos and everything. Oh. I do tend to I, be I can tell messy. a lot from a person's personality as well. Clean. You're like, this is a messy bitch, so she probably has a messy room. Who is the funniest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, wrote, I was gonna say, who here has like 300, oh like around 300 subscribers here? <laughs> but, okay, here's the thing. I only put me, but to 12, it, it's... It's for a specific demographic. So are you saying I'm a 12 year old because I laugh at your jokes? I guess so. My jokes are just like fairy dick jokes or just really stupid like sexual shit that like goes too far. And like certain people will find that funny, but then most people will be like, this shit is juvenile. I just, just think you're a funny person jokes. overall in general. Well, that's nice of you to say. You're welcome. Who is the best cook? Ready? You. Yeah. But why do you think you're better than me? Um, I've seen the way you cook on, in your videos. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, hate I? cooking. I love cooking. I will literally procrastinate eating just because I hate cooking that much. Why? It's so much trouble and so much time spent with very little reward in return. Because I will spend that's forever- like me with you. I will spend forever following a HelloFresh recipe and it just comes out like crap. And I know that's my fault, but still. I like to cook. It's super therapeutic and the- like, no. the reward at the end? I don't find it therapeutic at all. I basically see it as a chore to get through. It's a relationship. <clears throat> uh, what is your spouse's best feature? <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? Uh, that why are you me? laughing? I put hair in fashion because I feel like you have gone through so many different hairstyles, but you look good in all of them. He truly has the range. Same thing for fashion as well. I think you're very well put together. Thanks, babe. Face is so generic. I think it's your face. You're pretty. Pretty average. <laughs> <laughs> is this a newlywed or just a roasting game? What is your spouse's worst habit? I know for this. <laughs> you do? Well, actually, no, this is gonna be hard because it's like, how do I even pick? 
Wow, I put something super... <laughs> I know. And I went deep. You I like it deep, though. I do think vulgar is... I don't know if that's my worst habit. That's something I'm trying to work on. Vulgar mentality and physically. And the way you say things and the way you think things. Yeah, I'm trying to work on that so that I don't go too far with things. I feel like the bigger you get, the more you have to watch what you say because you don't know if it's, like, too far. I can be vulgar with my friends because, like, you get it and, yeah. like, everyone's chill with it. But, Honestly, like... I wouldn't even say this is your worst Trait. While you write that, I'm gonna explain this. I think you have a bad habit of comparing yourself, where you're constantly looking at numbers or views or subscribers. Even when you hit milestones, I feel like you still fall into the trap of comparing yourself to the next big person. And that's robbing you of your joy of life because you're not allowing yourself to be proud of how far you've come. Look at me being all deep. Thanks, mom. And then I put, I changed my answer to stupid. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. You are perfect in my eyes. No. <laughs> I think my worst habit is that I am very negative, so I tend to have very negative uh, thoughts. If I say so, okay, if I had to give you like a, a worst habit, it'd probably be self degrading. That's so. what I mean with like very negative thoughts. I will put a negative spin to everything, like in my mind, and similarly, that robs me of my joy too. But anyway, we're getting too deep now. What is your spouse's ideal vacation? Traveling the world and retired at fifty. That's my ideal vacation. Yeah. I thought it was like specifically what I would do on a trip or where to go. Um, where do you think I would go? You said you never been to London yet, right? I feel like you would want to travel there or maybe like Greece. Mmm, Greece would be cool. I mean, I'm down to travel anywhere, I feel. <laughs> yeah, see, that's why it's so like hard. I think your ideal vacation would be getting fucked in Europe because I know one of your dreams is to get fucked internationally and I wrote maybe Paris. You have more of a calling towards Paris and then that made me think Eiffel Tower question mark. What would your spouse say is most different between the two of you? Driven slash motivated. Oh, I wrote similarly work ethic slash guilt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's your interpretation of driven slash motivated. I have a lot of guilt with trying to be as productive as I can, trying to like do as much as I can, whereas you actually take it slow. You go at your own pace. Yeah, I'm the opposite of, of what you said. Yeah. What's her bra size and what's his shoe size? Hold on. Yeah, while you look at my chest, I'll look at your feet. What's the smallest bra size again? <laughs> Give me the, the, the range number. Is it like 1 to 32? Actually, I'm not really sure either. There's letters like A cup, B cup, C cup. Yeah, I know that, but like the numbers. I don't know the numbers, actually. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll you'll, you'll guess, you'll guess. I'll do small, medium, and big, and then A. Ready? <laughs> Show me. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> I put... Medium A, aka easy A. I don't think I'm a medium A. Really? Honestly, I don't remember what my bra size is. I think I'm a A. <sighs> you, you don't even know? I don't even know. I feel like I'm a small A though. I got flat boobs, but they're saggy. Honestly, boob territories, it's an unknown territory for me. Feet is also an unknown territory to me because You're into I eat though. So. I no, I hate feet. I absolutely hate feet. I hate Seeing it, I hate being around it. It disgusts me. Men's... What size 10? Oh, I mean, I was kind of close. I wrote size 9, and then I wrote a 6... 69. What type of student was your spouse in high school? A class clown, teacher's pet, or quiet in the corner? Quiet class clown in the corner. Oh, I like that. I feel like... I think that's accurate, yeah. Like, you wouldn't be super, like, out there, like, super extroverted, like, yeah. in front of the class. But with, like, a group of friends, you'd be, like, the funniest one, but then you keep to yourself. That's exactly how I was. And I guess in general, too. Yeah, in a public setting or, like, in a party, whatever, I wouldn't. But if it was, like, a party of close friends, then, yeah, I would be the obnoxious person person. <laughs> that messy loud bitch. When I got my employee evaluations from my last job, someone called me a class clown. I put <laughs> Asian kid that classmates don't cheat from. <laughs> Is that accurate? <laughs> like, ex like, can you go into it? Okay, you, like, so I feel that? like, so you know the stereotype in like school where like they try to cheat off of like the other kids, the smarter kids? I feel like they would understand that you don't fulfill that stereotype. <laughs> Are you saying I'm dumb? <laughs> I'm saying that you're not... It, you wouldn't provide the answers that they would need to pass an exam. That is, that is very, very true. That answer changed probably when I, was, when I was in college. I became more of, not a class clown, but really extroverted. And like I would oh. always talk to people in class. They would always ask me questions about what projects are due and stuff like that. I was on top of my shit in college versus high school because high school, I was like mostly homeschooled too. That is true in, in high school. In class, in college, I was very antisocial. I, I wasn't interested in talking to anybody. I would be interested in talking to people like 
like in clubs and stuff when I was in college, but uh, like in classes, I was I like... I was the opposite. I was like, don't talk to me. I don't want to be in your club. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I was the total opposite. In, in high school, I was like, oh my God, like I want to be in, in like part of so many clubs. But in college, I was like, don't talk to wow, me. Wow, we really want to If we're not in the same class, I don't want to talk to you. What reality TV show would your spouse love to be on? What was that show called? Talk, it was on Netflix. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I know what you're talking about. That one show on Netflix. It's The Circle. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right, The Circle, because we actually talked about it in real life, because Cindy actually sent an application to yeah. one of the seasons. The Circle, for those of you who don't know, is a reality show where people have to stay stuck in the same room, but in the same, same apartment building? complex. Yeah, they stay in the same building but they're all in different rooms it's kind of like being under quarantine and they can only communicate through this voice activated but they don't see each other they're in separate rooms yeah people they, can either catfish them or actually like reveal their true self the setup isn't really for catfish it's more just like who can be the most popular on social media but that could influence like the kind of profile that you set up i put an application that was honestly a really good application so i was going to be a catfish for the type of person who I think would be really popular among other I players. Never went through. I don't know. Maybe I just would have been too good. They did give me a call back. I talked to the person that was like organizing the auditions and stuff. I got one call back and then nothing happened from there. You could have been an actress. I told my coworker about this and he was convinced that I probably would have won the game. And he was also saying that like if I had been on the show, that also would have improved my YouTube channel too, because then more people would have because you get money from being on those shows. And then also so many reality stars start a YouTube channel afterwards, so they keep on getting. But you like, already had one, so maybe they didn't want to get like an actual like YouTuber oh. or influencer. Maybe they wanted like normal people. For you, I put the Bachelor with other bachelors. Uh, I knew you would say that. I'd be having a hard time with the show because, like I said before, my worst trait is like putting myself down. I've been like, mm. just eject me on the first episode. Oh, that's so sad. No, like, you should I'd be like, it. you know, I'll be like, I think you're really hot. Just give me the rose and I think you'll be really great friends. Aww. Is there a better answer than this for a reality show you would want to be on? I don't think I really want to be on a reality show in general because one, <laughs> I don't have the right... You're not douchey enough. Okay, but like, I, I, it's, I don't have the right presence for a reality show. That's what I mean. Me. You're not... I feel like I'm better equipped to like act in like a pretend TV show than in something real. That's what I mean. You're not a douchebag enough to be on a reality show. Hence why I was trying to be on a reality show because I was like, ooh, I can be a douchebag. So you can clearly see who the douchebag is in this relationship. <laughs> I also applied for another reality show because the same network had like mm -hmm. contacted. The show was kind of like Big Brother. I also got a phone call there too, but then nothing happened from it. Oh well. Racist. I know, right? I was like, damn, they didn't want an Asian girl. Can Just you imagine? Imagine the Bachelor or Bachelorette booktube edition. Oh, then I'm stuck so between choosing you and Jesse. That'd be juicy. You, you really go after a white boy? I will go with you for the optics. Jesse can be the side piece. <laughs> I feel like if it was like an actual thing, I feel like Jesse would have been. Probably, yeah. A lot of people have precious on him. He is daddy. I want to be on a reality show because I feel like now that I'm a YouTuber, I've accepted that I have no shame anymore. I think I've already lost my dignity by being a YouTuber, so I might as well go all the way. All right, so we have wrapped up the newlywed game questions. Elias has recently moved to San Francisco, which means that we'll probably get to hang out more often. So if anyone has any ideas for other collab videos that you would like to see, let us know. Maybe we can do a dating advice video because we're so, you <laughs> know. Dating advice with someone who's never dated. <laughs> we're, yeah, exactly, because we're such experts at it. Or we could do a booktube Q&A or YouTube Q&A, tips and tricks to be a YouTuber. Don't forget to unsubscribe from my channel and subscribe Subscribe to Elias. Subscribe instead. to Cindy. Bye. Dang, your hammering is cuter than mine. That's how you know that I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs>